Okay, so we've got snow, snow, and maybe a little bit of a reprieve coming from the snow. Yes, yeah, snow and then rain. Yeah, rain. As long as I don't have to shovel again. I feel like every time I walked outside... Never I shovel again in, <laughs> in northern Michigan, right? Okay, maybe give me a day break. Okay, a day or so. Yeah, I'll We've take a, that. A Cadillac, we picked up a couple inches since about 1 o'clock, and it's still coming down. Not a big surprise, the gusty winds blowing the snow around, but at least those winds, they have subsided compared to what they were earlier today. And as of around 11 o'clock this morning, from yesterday and last night, the totals got up to about 12 and a half inches. Levels, Fairview, gathered over eight inches. Traverse City, over seven inches. But remember, you have seen a lot of snow since even noontime in many spots. And yeah, it's still intense in some locations. Look at that shift in the atmosphere right here into northwestern lower in the UP heading out towards the Sioux as well. Let's zoom in. And like I said earlier in first weather, those darker areas of blue is where the intensity is on the high side. It's around Kalkaska, around Mancelona, between Gaylord and Mancelona, roughly uh, Alba Highway route that way, and down towards Houghton Lake, a little burst going through Higgins Lake right now. So it was windy, the lighter snowflakes blowing around so easily, brief whiteouts happening at times today, and earlier, the peak wind gusts. Look at the detour, 63 miles per hour, Ludington 56, and Manistee at 52. They have dropped down since then, but they're still on the higher side, around 20 to 30 miles per hour. So here is that snow cast in future view. There's your snowfall. You see it continues shifting around. So diminishing lake effect as the atmosphere changes. That through tomorrow morning. So less and less tonight, but it continues on. And there's still some tomorrow morning as well. That does break down for at least a little while, but limited snowfall, paradise or so, up towards uh, north of Sioux, St. Marie. That's tomorrow evening. Then tomorrow night, little wave approaches. Look at that, a little bit of snow going on. A little refreshing out there for Wednesday, but don't look for a lot on Wednesday itself. But your snowcast between now and tomorrow, 7 a.m. Yeah, typical lake effect snow belts, about one to three inches and three to six in those persistent snow areas of northwestern lower and parts of the UP. So tonight, slick roads, lake effect snow, the colder temperatures, those are the basic areas you really have to focus on as we go throughout the next couple hours until about midnight. Conditions will improve, but again, limited out there in terms of getting trucks and taking care of all the roads because there's so many roads. There's just so snow covered. So the weather alert day we, we've started a couple days ago and continues till about 10 p.m. tonight. That's when we're dropping off because conditions should start to really improve by then. Tonight, lake effect snow, winds subsiding and low temperatures here. They'll be in the teens for most spots, maybe a couple upper single digits. But even the winds here, they have dropped off, but you're going to find those wind chill factors above and below zero. They'll stay quite cold tomorrow. Your highs, teens and 20s. Winds, 5 to 15, but you still have wind chills in the single digits throughout the morning and early afternoon in spots. And highs tomorrow, yeah, only in those teens and 20s. So a cold day coming through, and then it does warm up for Wednesday. 20s, some lake effects, but minimal, all the way sunshine. Then a system on Thursday, snow to rain to mix or both, 28 to 34. A uh, late storm on Friday, so most of your day is dry. It's overnight, and the Saturday system comes through, snow, mix, rain. And then look at the warmth out there for later on Saturday, 30s and low 40s, dropping off just a little bit for Sunday. 